Hi friends, welcome to Coffee Date. Um, I had to restart the video. Morning! I had to restart the video because it was telling me that my internet connection was poor. Um, so, good morning. Um, I wanted to jump on Periscope real quick with you guys and have coffee with you. Um, this is actually my second cup for the day that I'm working on. Um, I have a bit of a cold or some sinus something or other happening today that I've been dealing with all week. So that's not fun, but I'm trucking through. Um, so happy Friday. Welcome to Friday. I feel like this week has been a long week, um, probably only because I've been sick and dealing with um, just a bit of a, a cold and stuff. Um, this always happens to me, I feel like, every year, um, even though Phoenix doesn't have super harsh weather changes, it goes from really, really hot to, you know, from like triple digits over 100 degrees, and then, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, down to 60 degrees or whatever. And so this always happens to me every year. I get a little bit of a cold, and then I get over it, and I'm fine. So... Anyways, cheers to Friday. If you're just joining us, welcome to Coffee Date. My name is Andrea Worley from the lifestyle blog, andreaworley.com. And I just wanted to jump in and um, share three things this week that um, I'm loving. Um, the first one that I wanted to share with you guys, um, let me prop up the camera. Um, first of all, let me just say, I never, I never read books when they come out. Um, I hardly ever read a book when it first releases. So my brother got me this book, Bread and Wine, last last Christmas, and so I've had it almost a year. And I didn't start it right away, and I and I started it a couple months ago, and I got about halfway through. And I really really love that um, this author, Shauna Nyquist. If you haven't heard of her or read any of her other books. This is her third book and I've read the other two and I really love her style of writing. It's um, it's essay format and so it's really short little essays that um, so I've been reading it and this book um, the tagline um, says a love letter to life around the table with recipes and when I started reading this book a few months ago, I would read an essay and then I would kind of like journal about my thoughts about it. Um, she's one of those kind of writers for me where when I read her stuff, I feel really connected and like I feel like I need to reflect on like what I just read. And um, not that it's necessarily heavy stuff, but she just has a way of really like talking to the heart and connecting the story to the heart of what she's trying to say and what that means for you, the reader. And, um, and so I get super, excuse me, I get super reflective when I read her stuff. Um, so I've been reading this and I've been determined to finish this book, uh, this month. And I have another book that I'm reading right now, um, called Restless by Jenny Allen, which I'm really enjoying. And I'm reading that one for my book club. So those are two books that I'm reading. Um, Bread and Wine by Shauna Nyquist and Restless by Jenny Allen. And um, so I'm really loving those. Um, the second thing is I have been listening to Natalie Grant's new album. It just released today. You could um, pre-order it for weeks, and slowly she was releasing songs for the pre-orders. So I've been listening to the first like four songs that she released um, from that album nonstop. And I, I've been what, sweetie? Okay, hold on just a second. Um, I've been a big fan of hers for a long time, and I feel like the last two albums, this one and the one before this one, have been some of her best work. Um, this album that just released today is called B1, and it's got some fun, upbeat songs that my kids and I have been listening to. Um, Good Day on that album is a little a fun song that the kids and I have been dancing to. Um, and then she does a cover of um, Everbee. Um, 
which is a Bethel worship song, and she does a cover of it, and it's so good. I feel like this album is so worshipful. Um, I posted it on my Facebook page a couple weeks ago when she released the song Clean, and um, the words to that song are so powerful. There's a, there's a lyric, a sentence in that song um, where she talks about, like, you know, nothing that you've ever done can be unworthy of what Christ did for you on the cross. And it's just so powerful, the lyrics to that song. So if you're looking for a new album to download, go to your iTunes or wherever you get music and get Natalie Grant's new album. It's called B1. It just came out today. Um, it's eleven ninety nine on iTunes, I think. Um, anyways, it's awesome. Um, and the third thing, um, that I wanted to share with you today is super frivolous and, um, but I just needed to share it with you. I am an avid podcast listen to her, listener, excuse me. And I listen to, um, a bunch of different podcasts, some on ministry, some on marriage. Um, I've done a blog post before. You can go back on my blog and search and see, um, some of the podcasts that I listen to, um, but the one podcast that I listened to that a friend of mine told me about a few months ago when I was at the Influence Network conference is the Popcast. <clears throat> now, if you are a fan of pop culture um, of any range, you might not be as big a fanatic of pop culture as I am. I super love pop culture. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I super love... Um, television and movies and everything pop culture. So this podcast called the Popcast, appropriately named, is so fun to listen to. They just did one, not this week, but the week before about movie quotes, um, favorite movie quotes. And I love that because um, I use movie quotes in my everyday life. And, um, and so I really enjoyed the whole podcast devoted to movie quotes and um, it's hosted by Knox and Jamie and they just do such a great job. Everything that they say, um, I totally get what they're saying and feel the same way about all the things that they talk about when it comes to movies and TV and, and um, their opinions and they're just so darn funny to listen to as well. So if you're a lover of pop culture and you are looking for um, a fun listen, go over to iTunes and subscribe to the podcast. Open your podcast app on your phone and search them, the podcast, and download some episodes. I listen to them while I'm running. I listen to them while I'm doing housework um, and different things. I listen to them when I'm working. Anytime I have some free moments or some time to myself, um, I'm tuning in. And they are hilarious. Um, they're just so funny to listen to. And they talk about um, all the things that I frivolously care about when it comes to pop culture. And... Um, my husband and I, when we play trivia games, the only questions that I'm really, really good at are the pop culture ones. So this just feeds my addiction to um, pop culture and the frivolity of it all. So it's really fun. If you're looking for a fun listen um, in your podcast, um, go ahead and add that to your rotation because they are hilarious. Um, so... Um, I'm going to cut this a little short today because I have a conference call I have to be on. But thanks for joining me for coffee. I hope that you guys are having a good day. Um, what are you guys doing this weekend? Anyone want to shout out what they're doing this weekend? We are going to a GCU basketball game tonight. Um, my husband works there and um, during hey, basketball season. Ikea! Oh, I need to go there, Allie. I need to go to Ikea. And, and I'm so bummed because I they don't open till 10 o'clock. And that really cramps my style because I wish that they opened earlier so that I could go straight from drop-off to Ikea and then be home in time for pickup because Ava does half days of school. Anyway, so um, enjoy Ikea. Allie, have a frozen yogurt for me. Um... Yes, I'm going there too, Dana. I'm go we're going to the game tonight, 
And then we're, my mom and my grandma and I are going to go to Front Porch Pickens tomorrow. I've never been, but my hairdresser, who lives in North Peoria, she's a vendor at Front Porch Pickens, and she sells um, wood signs and different home decor pieces. So my mom and I are going to go. Have you ever been... Have you ever been to Front Porch Pickens uh, before, Dana? Are you going? Um... Oh, what's Jeremy selling? What is he selling at his booth? Are you going on both days? Wood shavers. Oh, that's fun. Those might be some fun um, Christmas gifts. Just tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow in the afternoon because if you're local in Phoenix um, tomorrow, come over to the West Valley. Um, my girlfriend and I, who um, she sells and makes handmade jewelry. She is found love shop on Instagram. And she, her and I are doing a little holiday boutique event at Verado Copy Company. So if you are local in Phoenix and you want to come over to the West Valley and visit us from 10 to noon tomorrow at Verado Copy, you are welcome to come and shop with us. She's going to be selling um, her handmade jewelry and hey Zane. And I'm going to be selling um, my everyday page notepads and um, I'll show you guys what those look like. K11. Okay, I'll have to look them up when I get over there tomorrow afternoon. Um, this is what um, I'm going to be selling um, all my everyday page notepads and a few other notepads. This is what they look like. And a bunch of other uh, stationary prints and different things. So we're partnering up together. Um, and if you can't come shop with us at Verado Copy, you can go online at A Worley. W-O-R-L-E-Y dot Etsy dot com and you can shop with me there. So um, thanks for joining me for coffee date today, guys. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, whatever you guys are doing. Um, if it's cold where you are, stay warm and cozy and have an awesome weekend. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend too, Dana. Bye, Allie.